So now let's see how we can work around with stock sit inside of Pixlr E. So if you're trying to find an image that you want to work with and you don't have images uh, of your own, then you can go around over here onto the home page. You can see that I'm in the home page of Pixlr E and here you can see stock sit is an option. So once I click on stock sets, you can see that I can go around and then type in the word I want. Let's say, for example, I want to work with a uh, bridge right here. So I need a picture um, of a bridge. I can type in bridge and there are different bridges that you can work with. So let's say I'm going to choose this. So I'm just going to click on it and it loads up just like this. So you can go around into Ultra SD or Full SD web. You can choose the resolution you want. So I'm just going to go around with the web standard. I do not really want a high quality image right now. So once I click on apply, you can see that this is what you have. So now what you can do is uh, you can now open up other images from stock search as well. And in order to do that, you can go to file and then you can click on stock search. And this is what you have. So you have a lot of images as you can see. So you can just go around and then click on the image that you want to use. And similarly, it loads up right here. You choose the option again and then you can go around right here. So you can see that side by side, two stock images have been open. I can go around and then search for more stock images right here. Let's say, for example, I want to have a picture related to winter. There you go. There's the winter picture right there. Uh, and this time I'm going to choose full SD, click on apply, and this is what you have, as you can see. And that is how you can use the stock sets feature inside of Pixlr E. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.